everyone, it's Amy, and I just came on to show you that my wish was granted, and I didn't even make a wish. I received this Liquitex Slow Dry Blending Medium in the mail, and I couldn't figure out who it was from. It came from Amazon, so no names or anything, and I knew that my husband, he knew that I was going to try and look for some of this the next time I went to the city, but he's not the type to really surprise me. The only other person I knew was my niece, who had come up the weekend before and we had played with the jelly plates. But I really didn't think it was her, and I called her and she said, no, it wasn't me. And it took me like two or three hours to figure out, where did this come from? Then I remembered, Becky had said, look for a package in your mail. And so I went back and looked at the video where I was playing with my jelly plates and couldn't figure out how to keep the the paint from sticking into blobs and I had said that I thought I was going to get some blending medium and her response on there was be watching your mail so I figured that it was Becky that sent it to me and sure enough so look at this wonderful Liquitex blending medium that I got from Becky Aunt Beck's creation it was such a surprise that was really cool I can't tell you the last time I had like such a huge surprise in the mail um, that was totally unexpected and um, I really didn't know who it was from so that was really really cool thank you so much Becky it was great so and um, so I've been playing with it trying to figure it out I put it in a spray bottle with water that does not work I sprayed it on before I put the paint on and after I put the paint on and you still get the blotches I tried it by just putting dots of it on the jelly plate with dots of paint and that also did not work so what I found that did actually work was that if you mix the Liquitex on a palette the Liquitex and the paint together then that makes it much more blendable and so this piece here and hopefully you can see it well this piece was done with the blending medium and then I did it again without the blending medium, and this was the piece that was done without the blending medium. So this is a lot more patchy, and I rolled it, I put it on the, on the tray and rolled it out just like I did when I did it with the blending medium. So I did them both the same. This one has a lot more white spots. The purple is not as defined. And then on this one, it does have some, and it looks a lot more white than it is here because you're not seeing the light blue in there. Um, but this one is much smoother. The purple is much more defined. And so then I tried it again with the purple. And this one was done with the blending medium. Again, there's a lot more color on the page. It's a lot smoother. And then without the blending medium, it's a lot more patchy and not quite as not quite as vibrant. Just just a little bit. Um, less paint. So I did find that the blending medium mixed with your paint prior to um, putting it on your tray does make it go on a lot smoother and kind of darker I guess you would say or, or just more color to it. Um, I think that it, uh, for a piece that you really wanted to be very specific with this would be a good thing to use um, for just everyday playing around to have to put it on the palette and mix it all together um, kind of defeats the purpose of just slapping the paint on there and just having a good time so it does work as a blender just as it says but you have to blend it off the jelly plate so but it still really is great and it will work really great for anything that you specifically want that to be on there nice and smooth this is how you would do it without being all without getting it like glops here and there so even though it wasn't exactly how I thought it would work um, it still did work and Becky, I still thank you so much for this. This can be used for blending any paint, for painting, for, you know, for anything. So I, I don't have any of this, and I still have a great use for it, even though it didn't work great on the jelly plate. Then in the package, she also sent me textile medium. And this, um, I, I have to do some more research on, but I believe that you mix this, yep, two parts of the medium to one part acrylic paint. 
and um, and then this can go on fabric. And so what I thought would be really cool to do would be to mix this up, use it with the jelly plate, and put it on a white t-shirt. I thought that would be really cool. And I have a square jelly plate, and so I thought that would be really cool because you could put it right in the middle, and I thought you could put, like, just anything that you wanted on this t-shirt. So when I get a white t-shirt and I and I get it kind of worked out, I will come back and I will show you how I did that because I think that's going to work really cool with the jelly plate also. So thank you so much, Becky. I can't, I can't tell you how exciting it was to like get something in the mail and really, really for a little while just not have a clue. It was really fun. And thank you so much for these wonderful mediums. I really appreciate it. It's the one thing that I don't really buy for myself too much and um, I'm just starting to, to decide that that's what I need next. So thank you very much for starting me on a really good start with my mediums. And thank you all for watching. I hope that you have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.